Pembro TVEC that gave me the biggest surprise. And I'll be talking, you know, I have a lecture to talk about uh, new, new developments in immunotherapy, but I was quite impressed by, by the data from TVEC Pembro. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm the discussant uh, here at ESMO for this uh, particular poster. Indeed, it's, a, it's, it's very impressive to have a 58% response rate and rather no additional toxicity. And this is, I think it's, a, it's charming, you know. And, uh, uh, and also, you know, they have data on a randomized uh, study on, on with uh, IPI. It's IPI plus minus TVEC, mm -hmm. you know, which is interesting because the uh, response rate is far better. Yes, and and the therefore, you know, I believe because IPI is more toxic, you know, Pembro is a better combinational partner. And this is already in phase three, the master key 265 study. Yes. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the first study I know where we have an uh, intralesional agent which is a vaccine, you know, combined with a, uh, with a checkpoint inhibitor, and um, there might be other clinical trials coming up soon. Yeah. But I think everybody wants to be able to get an influx of T cells into the cold tumors that might have lots of mutations, so you got targets, but you don't have the effectors. Yep. So it would appear that giving TVEC is just another way of getting, of, of warming up the tumor. But Definitely, I, I like so TVEC, TVEC gives really very good danger signals. And as a virus, it is a natural optimized danger signal. So I think TVEC is, is, uh, is, is a fantastic approach. The question is, is it enough to inject a few lesion and is it enough to inject all lesions in a certain environment? So they are typically, they're all cutaneous and is this, this cutaneous immune stimulation enough to have a systemic impact? Well, we are encouraged by, by responses uh, outside of injected lesions, also visceral metastasis, but we have, to, we have to see that the response rate of these lesions is quite low. But honestly, um, um, Jeff, you were saying uh, you were impressed by the uh, waterfall plots of uh, Dabrafnib, Traumatinib and Pembro. I was impressed that this is tolerable because all the previous clinical trials where ipilimumab has been used as a combinational partner for BRAF plus MEC or BRAF alone, Vemuraf and plus IP, they were stopped because it was for futility and, and, and for you know, t certain toxicities. And I think this is really, a, it's a good sign that we can go ahead with a triple combination if we need a triple or one after the other one, so combination so versus sequencing. That's yeah. another question so which is important. Poor, poor Ippy always gets a bad rap for toxicity. It's too bad. There yeah, but uh, I think uh, that's probably the property of uh, Ippy uh, causing some inflammation, and, and this inflammation was causing side effects and toxicity. And uh, for that, uh, I'm not surprised that we are seeing in combination with also with TVEC uh, some uh, beautiful responses. So the question in my view is, uh, we are all impressed with the response rates of uh, PD-1 antibodies, whether the combination of uh, Pembro and TVEC is as efficacious as the combination with IPI because you have not this inflammatory compound uh, uh, component of, of IPI. So I think um, IPI, in my view, is a facilitator, uh, and uh, actually that's also what we see in the combination with, with Nebo, for example. Uh, or is low dose uh, with PEMBO. So I, I'm not, uh, still not convinced whether a low dose or less frequent IPI uh, combination with a PD-1 an uh, antibody is as uh, clinically effective uh, than um, the full dose yeah, that we're giving in. So uh, there are data though, I mean, aren't there data to suggest that Dirk's right? I mean, uh, those, but those are lung cancer data, right? I think that was presented over maybe at this past ASCO. ASCO, yeah, ASCO was ah. presented. Uh, this lung was cancer. a trial in lung cancer. I forget the number, but it was a trial where either IPI was given at one and NEVO at three every three weeks, and then they extended it to six, six weeks, weeks and now to 12, 12 weeks. 12 weeks, and, yeah. and uh, small numbers, but the same results. So I think we all like the idea of low dose IPI, higher dose NEVO, better tolerated. But if TVEC, Pembro looks as good as Ipi Nevo, I, I guess I would have to assume because of the lower toxicity, everyone's going to like the idea of, of yep. uh, Pembro TVEC. Mm. But how much uh, of the um, response is due to the reduction of the injected sites? That is important because we know we inject TVEC, it reduces the size. So if among the targets, it increases the response rate, but what does it mean for the... 
Uh, I think you raise a good question. And then there's also the issue of uh, Pembro epicatastat or Vivo epicatastat. That's but, been looked at too. But for TVEC, uh, there is waterfall plots available for injected versus non-injected non lesions. But if you look at non-injected, do you also have a uh, by patient 58%? It's not quite, it's yes. not 58%. It's not the same, it's lower, but it's still good data. So yeah. I is think it better than, than uh, anti-PD-1? That's a good question, but how can you distinguish if you're giving it immediately in combo? And the answer is it looks the same, but if you add the, we'll um, the injected lesions together, it looks awfully promising, and, and, and to me, so this would justify yeah. a phase three study. Yeah, so I mean, I had the privilege um, to discuss the TVEC data last year uh, at ESMO. So I think um, it will be a tough uh, call for, for TVEC actually to improve overall survival at the end after two or three years um, to have this visible uh, incremental increase in overall survival. And this is uh, actually only be possible if indeed this concept we, ha we are discussing, inflammation leading to a systemic increase in T-cell activity is also translating uh, to overall survival, which is also a, a dogma, uh, a legend you need to discuss uh, during one of the next uh, discussion rounds, uh, which has not been proven uh, formally. Yeah, well, again, remember, Ipinevo, two-year survival in the 069 study is 62% in the sequential trial that Steve Hody and I did, it was 62% in two years. You're going to have to match that with TVEC Pembro or, yep. or, or, or Epicatastat Pembro yep. to, to make people buy into the idea that you can get away with less toxicity but still mm -hmm. have benefit. But what about...